up welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new here my name is katie and for today's video it's gonna be super exciting because it's gonna be a puppy like essential haul i guess we are getting a puppy I'm actually not going to reveal the breed or anything until my next video, which will be the vlog of us picking him up. So it is a him. We decided to go with a male dog. Every time I talk about him, I never say like his name. We already have a name for him as well, which I'm not revealing yet. This is not everything. I actually do have more stuff coming in the mail and I'm going back to the pet store tomorrow. I just thought it'd be a good idea to split up everything kind of in half because it would be like a lot to do in one video. So yeah, anyways, without further ado, let's just get right into this video so this is the bowl set that i decided to get i thankfully took the day i don't even know when it was but a few days ago i went with my best friend and we bought literally all the essentials for the puppy i'm so thankful for my best friend so vanessa if you're watching this thank you so much for coming shopping with me and being absolutely clu as clueless as me it was absolutely hilarious but we got it done but anyway so this is the food bowl that we decided to get him it was $16.99 and it's from winners or home goods i'm just gonna flip it this way that's what it looks like it just has these kind of just this metal gate and it's black so he can't tip it over because that's a lot of things with new puppies they will definitely tip over their water bowls and their food bowls and this just kind of comes out, goes back in, and it's black so it still matches the aesthetic of my house, which is really important as well, since he is going to be set up in our living room. So it's really important that everything looks nice and clean for, you know, the other people living in my house. So food bowls, pretty basic. So next up to kind of go along with the food bowls, we did get a puppy mat thing. So it's just kind of this silicone kind of rubber mat to put the food bowls on top so that if he spills or makes a mess it's very easy to clean and this was also from home sense or winners and this was 4.99 and it looks like this and it just has little paw prints on it which i think is absolutely adorable next up from walmart is this little puppy dog bed one thing i will reveal he is going to be a very big boy he's going to be a big dog when he gets older but this is the puppy bed that i found at walmart and it looks like this and it has this little hook over here i guess to hang it up if you need to hang dry it or anything like that i think this was 19.99 this is the cheapest dog bed that i found like anywhere all the ones at like home sense or like winners were like 60 dollars 70 dollars especially if you need one for a bigger dog they have really nice ones for smaller dogs but just because he's going to be a bigger dog it's going to be harder to kind of just buy a smaller bed and then have to switch it later on so this is just the one we picked out i think this is the one that's going to go in his crate for now we are crate chaining him just because we do live in an apartment and that's something we felt we needed to do as well as we are getting him a playpen to attach to the crate so he's gonna have a lot of room in the living room don't worry we have like a whole designated space for him we're moving our entire couch <laughs> for him so yeah somehow everything is ending up gray so i think he's gonna have gray everything it wasn't on purpose it just what happened all right so kind of since we're talking about what's going in the living room with him i also picked up this very cute gray box with like these white handles it's kind of just for all of his toys for in the living room this was 16.99 from home sense and it's literally the perfect little gray toy bag thing i don't know i just thought this would be really great to keep everything really organized and keep all of his toys in here and if he ever wants some he can just go in and grab whatever he wants definitely not an essential but just for me personally to keep everything really organized and really clean it's important to me so i got him this little toy bag i guess you could call it so the next thing that we picked up was actually from the dollar store and it's this little dog blanket. I still need to take it out of the packaging and wash it. But this is essentially what we're going to be picking him up in. He just needs a little dog blanket. He's very tiny right now. He's literally probably like this big right now. He's so adorable. We already went to go meet him. Actually, we put out a deposit already. And we are going to be picking him up in two weeks, hopefully. They said between May 4th to May 10th just depending on if he's ready to leave his mom or not. But this is literally the cutest little dog blanket. It is so, so, so soft. It is from the dollar store and it's literally perfect for when he's a tiny little puppy. 
and it kind of just has these chocolate bone kind of detailings on it and my mom actually picked this out again with the gray you see what i mean i didn't do it on purpose it kind of just happened that way and now i'm just going with gray everything so so next up is again from walmart and it's kind of just this gray towel kind of really i made sure it was really soft it's really important to me that the towel was relatively soft and it, this towel is from walmart and it was about six something and it's a big towel it kind of just goes out like this definitely good for when he gets a lot older yeah it was cheap it was it's a great material i love walmart towels and it's really really soft so i really appreciate that so it'll be great for when he's a puppy and when he's older and obviously i can get more towels eventually but this is just the one that we have for now because we are going to wash him the minute he comes home so something else that we decided was important to pick up for him that i actually got at a pet store here in montreal i don't know if there's <laughs> this pet store everywhere because it is french but it's called Mondu, Mondu, whatever, Mondu. And anyways, it's just like kind of like a giant Petco. We don't have Petco here, at least not in Montreal. I don't think we do, I'm not sure. But yeah, it's just like a regular pet store. And I found this kind of, I don't know how to explain it, but it's just this kind of car covering because me and my boyfriend do have our own car and we are gonna pick him up in that car. And we definitely wanna go camping and hiking with him. So it's really important for us to get a good kind of car covering. So this is the one I found with my best friend. So it does say it's anti-skid, water resistant, it's safe, it's portable, and it's machine washable. The box is actually empty, not going to lie. It's gray too, I didn't do this on purpose. This is the cheapest one I found. It was $39.99. And what I really loved about this, it's suitable for small to large cars. We do have kind of like an SUV type of car, so it's a bit a bigger car. But yeah, it just has a zipper down the middle so that I can sit next to him and he will still have this protection with him. And it also has little holes to insert the buckles. So when we go pick him up, my mom is actually accompanying us for the drive. It's about an hour and a half drive away. But on the way back, me and my brother are both gonna sit in the back with the new puppy and my mom's gonna sit in the front with my boyfriend on our way home. So yeah, this is just really essential for us and if he pees on it or if he makes a mess or anything as puppies do, this will be really great to just clean it up. Um, obviously, we're going to bring pee pads and all that stuff with us, but I just think that this is really essential for my family personally. We got this seatbelt tether thing. It's like, I don't know how to explain it. It was $9.99. It's also from the same pet store that I got the car seat covering and this kind of just would attach to his harness and then this kind of buckles into the seat belt so this is going to be perfect for if me and my boyfriend are again going on a long drive or whatever it is and just to make sure puppy is safe and sound in the back seat i was looking at car seats but just for my budget at the moment it is not for me personally right now eventually probably going to invest in one but just because he is going to be a puppy and he's going to grow really fast like in six months he will probably be like full sized so it's kind of hard for us to find a car seat that will fit him when he's a puppy and when he's older so this was just a better alternative for us personally but if you're getting a smaller dog highly recommend a car seat my sister has a little chihuahua named crowley that she just got recently and she does have a little car seat for him it's very cute i'm his godmother and vice versa my sister's gonna be the godmother to my puppy as well i'm telling you right now my puppy has so many aunts and uncles that are going to spoil the heck out of him he's already spoiled and he's not even here yet but yeah anyways this is just an essential for me personally and yeah okay so let's talk about pee pads <laughs> yay pee pads training pads yay pee pads okay so these are just the ones from the dollar store these are the ones that we're going to bring with us in the car when we go pick puppy up these are just kind of the standard ones that are sold at the dollar store and the reason that i'm not investing in a huge pack of pee pee pads is because we actually purchased a grass pad off of costco so that should be coming in the mail in about a a week or so we just ordered it this morning actually so we are training him to pee on a grass pad I will insert a picture of it right here we got the large side and it does have three layers so there's the grass there's another layer and then there's a tray at the bottom that's going to essentially like capture all the pee a lot better for the environment than just pee pee pads so another thing kind of for potty training that I did not mention 
is a we're getting like these uh, i don't know these doorbell thingies it's kind of like essentially a rope with a bunch of bells on it and i think it comes in a pack of two i got it off amazon this morning along with the play pen so i'm going to insert pictures of what those look like and i will definitely try and link them down below if you guys are interested so yeah we ordered i just ordered the, it's like a set of two it's like a black string with some bells on it that we're going to hang on the door and we're kind of just going to train him to you know ring the bell when he has to go potty and all of that stuff and then he's going to obviously use the grass pad outside just because he will not be fully vaccinated when we get him home he can only be vaccinated i think at like a certain age I think it is so when we get him he's not gonna be fully vaccinated he's getting his first shots actually this week and he's being dewormed as well but um, his full vaccinations won't be able to be done until a certain age so we're gonna have to potty train him at home because we can't take him out side and be around like other dogs anyways i'm gonna link the two things that i found on amazon down below and i'll definitely let you know how they work out it's my first time using these things so i'm not sure but i'll definitely let you know so next up are just some poopy bags <laughs> um these are vanilla scented we don't need these right away i just got this pack because it was on sale at again at the pet store called moldu so it's just like a pack of 150 and i believe it was two dollars this next item is a little bit of an unnecessary purchase but it is a personal purchase this is going to be my personal poop bag dispenser <laughs> I got it at Canadian Tire with my best friend. We saw it and we just, I couldn't resist. I had to, I had to. If you know me, you would know why. But yeah, it's just this little coffee cup poop bag dispenser. And I think it was $11. So there's a hole with the poop bags in it. Um, it literally said in dog coffees, I've only had one. I just thought it was really cute. And it kind of just clips to either the leash or like your pants or like something. It kind of just clips onto your keys, whatever you need to clip onto. It comes with an extra roll of poopy bags. And I just thought this was really adorable and I just had to get it. Okay, so next up for accidents, I guess you would say I did pick up this Nature's Miracle Advanced stain and odor eliminator for use on carpets hard floors furniture fabrics and more and it saves for pet and home we do have hardwood floors so if the dog has an accident on the floor which is bound to happen this is just really great to have because although you may not smell the pee on the floor or the accident on the floor after you've cleaned it with just regular cleaning product the dog definitely will so i think it's really important to get a pet friendly Kind of just cleaning product to make sure that you and your dog don't smell the pee or the poo or the accident anymore so this is just someone that i got from the pet store that i was speaking about previously so this next item is the burt's bees oatmeal shampoo for dogs and it's 99.7 percent all natural i got this at walmart we were at Walmart looking at the shampoo section because just like I said, I wanted to wash him as soon as we got home. We were looking at a bunch of shampoos. I honestly could not decide what I needed and a random lady just asked me if I needed help with anything. It wasn't a work or anything. She was just a random woman that decided to help me out and she's like, listen, like, um, is it for a puppy? Like, what is it for? I was like, yeah, I'm getting a new puppy and I really want something good to just wash him when he gets home and all that stuff. And she recommended me this one. I know they do have one for a puppy specifically, but I cannot find it anywhere. But I'm gonna try again tomorrow to look for it. But I think that this is really, really great. In the back, I was reading it before I purchased it. It says that that is the French side. Let's not read that. Where's the English side? pH balance for dogs. It's cruelty free. It's formulated without sulfates, fragrances, or colorants. So I'm really, really happy that I found something that's kind of just almost all natural. So yeah, this is just the one from Burt's Bees. I absolutely love Burt's Bees lip balms, so I have no problem using this. So next up, also from Walmart, we did get a pet grooming brush. So this is just the wall large slicker brush it's stainless steel angled and it's not too rough we'll definitely be taking a lot of trips to the groomers just because that's a personal preference i would like to keep my dog fresh and clean so i did not invest in a grooming kit i do have a card with the pet store that i was talking about and they do offer free washing and nail trimming and all that stuff so i really really appreciate that that's definitely something i'm going to take advantage of so anyways i just decided to get this brush that's just what it looks like i don't know nothing special the brush so next up also from walmart i did decide to get a four pack of these finger 
toothbrushes this is basically what they look like it's the same brand as the regular brush that i bought and they're also from walmart i thought finger brushes as a puppy would be a lot easier for him and then as he gets older i can actually invest in like a dog toothbrush but just for now since he's a puppy this is what i'm gonna get i was looking at a bunch of dog toothpaste and um i couldn't really find any that i really really loved a lot of them had a lot of added ingredients that just didn't need to be in there so i might just end up making my own toothpaste so if anybody has any dog toothpaste recommendations please please link them down below leave them down below leave me a comment come message me on instagram i'd love to talk about all of this stuff with you guys if you are a puppy owner if you're a dog owner i would love to talk about all of this stuff i'm very open to tips and like all that stuff although like you know i said before i've had dogs my whole life we're not perfect not everyone knows absolutely everything and again what works for some dogs doesn't work for other dogs so i'm definitely open to trying a bunch of new stuff so definitely leave your recommendations down below that would be really really helpful it's really important to take care of your dog's teeth now so you don't pay for it later okay so next up we're gonna go into some doggy treats so i do have two kind of not really um these were the kind of cleanest ones i could find at the walmart i got a small pack and these are the bit soft moist training treats so just like the blue superior nutrition ones and this is the tasty chicken recipe and they just look like this these are kind of just the only treats that i've gotten so far i'm gonna get more but again if you have any treat recommendations i am literally open to all of them as long as they're accessible in canada because i do live in canada and the next little pack of kind of not really treat yeah they're kind of treats they're like just the greenies dental treats so they look like this and i got the teeny ones because he is going to be a puppy and he's going to be teething and all of that stuff so i wanted to make sure that they were soft enough and small enough for him to eat. So these are the original and it said vet recommended for dental care. So this is really, really great for your dog's teeth. And I decided to get the tiny pack just in case if he absolutely hates them and doesn't eat them, I'm not gonna invest in like one of the huge kind of value boxes. My mom did already have kind of just this white, beautiful container. This is kind of where all of his treats are going to go. It is from the dollar store, I can see. I think this is kind of old, but definitely you can get a lot of these types of like containers for dog treats at like any dog store, at the dollar store, at HomeSense. I saw a lot of really nice ones at HomeSense, but I did already have this one at home. But this is basically what we're gonna be using for his treats and I think it looks really, really great. All right, so last but certainly not the least, we do have some toys. We didn't get a lot of toys yet. Again, I'm going tomorrow to get more toys just because he's gonna be a puppy and we need to see what type of toys he likes. So we kind of have to get all the different varieties oh i think first things first i'm gonna start with my favorite one it's just this little avocado toy <laughs> it's it's so cute i <laughs> it's from winners it was 7.99 and it kind of just has his little avocado pit he's really really soft it's from the dog section and it's actually from this brand that sold at winners called nan dog pet gear it looks like this so if you guys want to maybe look up this brand and see what it's about but honestly everything from this brand at winners is so nice the name is fitzgerald the avocado and he squeaks that's gonna be really great it's just so cute i can't get over it all right so the next toy is this little lamb toy it's from the dollar store and it kind of just has these really really adorable rope arms so it's kind of just like a plush with some rope on it again he's gonna be a puff puppy so he's gonna want to chew on a lot of rope and all of that good stuff and it kind of just bends around i think it squeaks it does he squeaks and he just is really cute and cuddly and it's just a little lamb. So the last toy is kind of the toy that we bought when we first knew we were when we were first looking for a puppy. Actually, this toy is kind of old. It's like a few months old now, like winter still. And we ended up going to a pet store and I just we couldn't help ourselves. So my brother and my boyfriend picked out. <laughs> this ring chew toy thing. It's called Bud's Dog Toy. It's fun, it's durable, it floats, it's flexible. It's kind of too tough for him right now as a puppy, but as he gets older, I think this would be really, really great. All right guys, so that is just going to conclude the end of this puppy haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I will for sure be doing a vlog for when we go pick up the puppy, so definitely be subscribed and turn on your notifications for that video. It's gonna probably be coming after this one because we are hopefully getting him sooner rather than later uh thank you so much for watching i really hope you guys enjoyed it and again if you have any tips recommendations 
anything like that please leave them down below i would love to love love to hear them as well if you if you guys have any pets at home what are they what are their names and how old are they I really hope everyone is staying safe happy and healthy as always okay bye